Hi, my name is Aishi Jang, and today I'll be talking about polar covalent bonds in water molecules. Now, we have a single water molecule here, and as you can see, it's made up of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. It has a wide V-shape, and the two hydrogen atoms are connected to the oxygen atom by single covalent bonds. However, since oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen, the electrons of the covalent bonds spend more time closer to the oxygen than the hydrogen. So this makes the bond a polar covalent bond. The oxygen end of the molecule has a partial negative charge, and the hydrogen end of the molecule has a partial positive charge. How is this dipole formed? Well, it has to do with two key facts that we've already covered. First, it's because this bond is polar. Since the electrons spend more time closest to the oxygen, it makes sense that the oxygen end is more negative. And second, it has to do with the V-shape that the water molecule has. Now, imagine if water were perfectly symmetrical, say linear. Then it wouldn't matter as much that these are polar covalent bonds, because the polarity would simply cancel out and no dipole would be formed. However, since the water molecule has a V-shape, a dipole can form. What's so special about this dipole? Well, it allows the partially positive hydrogen atom of one water molecule to bond with the partially negative oxygen atom of another water molecule. And this intermolecular bond is called a hydrogen bond, and is the strongest intermolecular bond, even though it's still much weaker than the covalent bond that's found within a water molecule. The hydrogen bonds of water are constantly forming and breaking and forming and breaking. Although each only lasts a few trillionths of a second, the molecules are constantly forming new hydrogen bonds. As you'll see in a future video, the hydrogen bonding is key to many of water's unique properties.